Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. That's Jessie, I'll talk. Anyways, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, um, the 21st of March, 2022. And today I'm doing Stitcher Library. This is um, a different one though, because normally Stitcher Library, you're supposed to do patterns you've had for a while in your library. But I got a new pattern and I really wanted to make it. So it's from my library because I bought it. And it, so when I bought it, it went into my library. So, when I'm making it, it's coming out of my library. <laughs> so, it still counts, right? <laughs> but anyways, this is a new pattern by another uh, YouTube podcaster, <laughs> a Yarna YouTuber, uh, named Valerie Phillips. And her channel will be linked below, and um, her Etsy shop will be linked below as well. So, she just put this pattern out, and as soon as I saw her video about it, I had to go buy it. And I went immediately after the video and bought the pattern. So, I'll link it down below if you want to check it out, but it's so cute. But uh, it's called Flip It Doll Bonnet Baby. <laughs> and uh, here it is. So here's the pink. The mouth is really pale. I should have made it brighter pink. But here is the awake. And then when you flip it over and you flip the little hood inside, it's asleep. So now the back of its head's covered up and it's asleep. And then you want it awake, you flip it again and it's awake. <laughs> It's so cute. I just made it this morning. This is a scrap yarn. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I got it as a in a swap, I think. One of my Christmas swaps, maybe. Uh, it's a variegated yarn. And this is, uh, I love this yarn, Light Peach. I used, uh, she called for 15 millimeter uh, safety dials. I used 20 because that's what I had like on my cart. And then the nose is made with the skin color. And then the mouth is a scrap of Premier Just Yarn that I had. But it's so cute. And, and the black right here is just red heart black. But I thought that was so cute. And she said that she, if these ones are popular, she's got uh, ideas for other Flip It dolls. So I'm looking forward to, um, to more. It's so cute. It was pretty easy. The hardest part I would, I would say is the ruffly bit. Because you don't work into a stitch to do that. You work into like part of a stitch <laughs> it's hard to explain but um she explains it pretty well and i'm sure she if you buy the pr pattern and have any trouble i'm sure she would help you because she's really nice but yeah um it's made in just a few pieces let's see her two pieces because the body and the ruffles and all that you know are um crocheted all together you, you know you attach to crochet that and then this little thing is a separate piece that you do so on but uh it's really easy I liked it, making it a lot. I made it really quick, maybe in about an hour and a half, two hours maybe, this morning, <laughs> um, or early in the morning. Everybody else was still in bed, and June had gotten up and then went back to sleep, so I just went and got up and stayed up. It's like five in the morning. So I did a walk and um, sat down on crochet this little thing <laughs> while watching murder shows, but that's okay. And it's got stuff in it, and it's just so cute. I can't get over it. It's so cool. It's such a, like, a good idea, you know, like a smart idea to make something like that. That is so cute. A little sleeping baby. <laughs> and then you wake it up. And there it is. I should put my eyes a little bit higher. My nose and stuff a little bit higher. But oh well. Because now it's a bald baby. I could put some hair on there. <laughs> but I think it's adorable. I love this yarn too. And I, I almost ran out. I thought I was going to have to like use a different color for one of these ruffly bits. Because it was the last bit that I did. Um, I was watching my yarn ball and it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I was like oh boy. Uh, but I actually had enough. I had a little tiny yarn ball left over that would go back into my scrap bucket. But if, if I had it right now, I was just going to pull out one of these colors and similar to it and make it with it. But uh, I luckily had enough and it's now it's all done. So it's so cute. But I would say, I wouldn't say this is a super beginner amigurumi pattern, but it's not super hard. Like, like I said, the hardest part is this ruffly thing, putting it where it goes. Um, and once you get it going, it just flies right on by. But uh, yeah, super easy on that. It's all single crochets and double crochets. And... Uh, just a little bit of stitching work. Nothing major, you know. You don't have to be like an expert at embroidery. And this part, all the stitching you can do before you sew it together. Um, and stuff it so it's a lot easier to get it done and get it um, secured on there really well. Same with the safety eyes. You get them on there really easily because it's open piece at the time. Before you stuff, close it and stuff it. So um, it's really easy to do the facial, facial features is what I was trying to say. But yeah, so that's my uh, Stitcher Library project for this week or this time because sometimes I do more than one a week. <laughs> but um, I just had to make this. I bought it and I loved it and I just had to make it. And I'll probably make more of these in the future. And um, you could use like 
larger yarn or double stranded yarn to make it a bigger one if you wanted a bigger baby or also smaller if you use smaller yarn and hook this is made of worsted weight by the way and i think a g-hook yeah it was g-hook um so yeah let's keep it on check it out and check out valerie's channel i'll link it below and uh yeah i guess that's it i'm gonna go get the baby from Devin. he's had her for a few hours i went and took a shower but i cleaned the bathroom first and then i took a shower and um and he's needing to be tapped out <laughs> But I'm going to go in there and take care of the baby and figure out what to do for dinner and all that fun stuff. But I will hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video hopefully soon. Let's see here. Tomorrow's Tuesday. So I'm, in theory, I should do a No Catch Name episode. But I don't know if I actually get around to doing it. Depends on life. <laughs> but um, I'll see you again eventually. And also don't forget, I am running a giveaway. It's one video before this. And um, it's running from the day that I put it out, which was f Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, and, um, or Sunday, I can't remember now, it's Sunday, um, the 20th through April 10th, which is the Sunday before Easter, Easter is on the 17th, and, um, so the giveaway ends on the 10th, that way I can have time to mail it to someone who, um, whoever wants it, but there'll be two winners, so I'll go check that video out too, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video, bye guys. Mm -hmm.